The proteins in our body that are formed from our DNA are responsible for the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of drugs. As we all have our own set of genes, we are all genetically different, and therefore, our bodies also differ in how we react to medicines. Factor V is a protein and part of the coagulation cascade, the process that creates and dissolves blood clots. The protein circulates in the bloodstream in an inactive form until the coagulation system is activated by an injury that damages the blood vessels. In response to an injury, Factor V is activated. After activation, this Factor V interacts with Factor X, activating it. The active forms of these two coagulation factors form a complex that converts the important coagulation protein prothrombin, also known as Factor II, into the active thrombin. Activation into thrombin allows for a few more conversions to take place, resulting in the formation of blood clots and the damage to be repaired. But at some point, the clotting process needs to stop. This coagulation factor V is a very clever coagulation factor because it knows that too much factor V is not good for the body. After all, too many blood clots would be produced. That is why it has a built-in switch-off function. By cooperating with activated protein C, APC, it inactivates itself because APC cuts it up in specific places. This inactivation slows down the clotting process and prevents clots from becoming too large. The rare variant of Factor V Leiden affects this part of the process. The mechanism that causes blood clot formation to turn off is significantly less effective, keeping the clotting factors all active, which continues to promote the formation of a blood clot, increasing the risk of developing an abnormal blood clot. But why does it not turn off anymore? Normally, activated protein C inactives Factor V by cleaving it at three different locations. The Factor V Leiden mutation is a change in your DNA that alters the amino acid at one of these three sites. Activated protein C cannot cleave this mutated version of Factor V efficiently. Therefore, Factor V Leiden is considered resistant to activated protein C, keeping the clotting factors all active, which continues to promote the formation of a blood clot, increasing the risk of developing an abnormal blood clot. We hope this video was of great help and let us know if you have any questions.